If you're a medium to large size YouTube channel and you're getting overwhelmed by comments, then this video is for you. This comment down here was written by an AI agent that I trained on my YouTube channel. So the comment was, anyone got this working with GPT-3? And my YouTube comment responder wrote, this Twitter bot can 100% work with GPT-3.5 Turbo, the updated GPT-3 model. Automatic YouTube comment responders can save you loads of time, keep your audience engaged, and provide valuable information to your viewers with questions. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up and a little behind the scenes magic on the AI agent logic. If you love automating everything in your life and you're curious to how we do it with code, then this video is for you. Let's get into it. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Head on over to youraiagent.com, enter your name and email address, password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. It will drop you onto the settings page. And the first thing you need to do is connect your YouTube channel. So I'm going to click on YouTube. We're gonna name our YouTube integration within youraiagent.com. I'm gonna call it West GPT's YouTube channel. And now we need the channel ID. So click on studio.youtube.com and your channel ID is in the URL. So let's grab this portion. I'm gonna copy it, head back over to settings, paste it in, and then click connect. It will take you to an OAuth screen where you're going to select your YouTube channel. I'm going to click on this one right here. You're gonna get this warning. I haven't verified the app yet in the Google Developer Console. I'm gonna be working on that this week because we're actually running out of users that we can add to an app that hasn't been verified. They give you a max of 100 users. And now that we connect Gmail accounts as well, this is filling up quick. But for now, click go to youraiagent.com, then click continue. And if everything is good, you're gonna get a notification that says your YouTube channel has been connected. So click okay. It will take you back to this connections page and then you can scroll down and see all of your connections. I added my YouTube channel a while ago. So it appears down here. You can remove it at any point or rename it. Next, click on API keys. We connect to multiple large language models. We have OpenAI, Gemini, Claude. If you wanna connect an assistant through OpenAI, you can do that here. My favorite model is GPT-4 Omni. So I'm going to click on this hyperlink, create a new secret key, create secret key, copy this key, paste it into the input box like so. If this is your first time using the developer console of OpenAI, click on settings, billing, add a valid payment method, and then credits to the account. Next, you're gonna click on subscription. And if you don't have an active subscription, this button will say subscribe. I do have an active subscription, so it says go to portal. I'm gonna click on this button. Youraiagent.com is $9 per month. That includes unlimited workflows, unlimited AI agents, unlimited YouTube responder bots. If you have multiple channels, you can connect them all under the basic plan. I'm trying to make AI agents affordable for everyone on the internet. With all the housekeeping out of the way, we can now get to the fun stuff. So on the home page, we're gonna scroll down and click the YouTube responder agent. So let's click this. We are going to select our YouTube channel and the most recent connection is shown first. Now let's read a bit about the YouTube responder. Increase engagement by responding to all comments across your YouTube channel. Use the agent prompt to individualize your bot so that it sounds exactly like you. This next part's very important. In the back end, we take the comment, the video's title, and the video's description to understand the meaning behind the text. This makes crafting the reply more relevant. Here are some tips and tricks. Text model GPT-4 Omni works best. This AI agent will respond to all future comments, not past comments. We keep track via IDs so that comments are never doubled up. It replies to the top level comment only. Use the agent prompt feature to make your bot unique. Write detailed video descriptions so that your agent can reply correctly. Now this is the old way this AI agent worked, but I have since updated this agent with better backend logic. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we're doing this in a bit, but it will respond to all comments on your channel, regardless of when it was posted, as long as you haven't replied to it already. 
So before I start setting up this agent, let's take a quick look at my YouTube channel so that you can visualize what's going on. The AI agent is gonna make an API call to your YouTube channel and grab all of the comments. If the comment has a response, and one of the responses is from your own YouTube channel. So if I change this from I haven't responded to I responded, all replies are tagged with a channel ID. And when you connected this YouTube channel, we store that channel ID and we search all the replies to a comment to see if the profile's ID matches your YouTube channel. That's how we know that this comment has been appropriately responded to and we can skip it. It also tells us when you hop in manually, let's say I'm looking at this comment and I wanna to respond to it myself, I can absolutely do so and the AI agent won't respond a second time. So it gives you total control over your channel. The second thing to note is AI agents can't watch your YouTube video. Unfortunately, we also can't get the subtitles for your video. It would be amazing if we could grab your entire subtitle text, run it through the model, so that the AI agent knows exactly what the video is about. But we might have an even better way and possibly a cheaper way because it sends through less text. We grab the video's title, the video's description, and the comment to get a holistic view of what they're trying to ask. So if you want this AI agent to work properly, to work as effectively as possible, make sure you title your videos appropriately and you write good, long video descriptions. This is an example of a bad video description. It's short, it's only one sentence, and one of the things in it is a hyperlink to my online course. We can still reply to comments on this video, and the answers might still be correct, but if we want it to perform better, I'd write at least a few more paragraphs about this video's content. All right, back on the YouTube Responder page, we need to select a text model. So I'm going to select GPT-4 Omni. The language is gonna be English. And I start you with a pretty basic agent prompt. You could either fill in the blanks or write your own. But let's work with this. I'm gonna go, you are Wes, who owns and operates the YouTube channel. Let's go Wes GPT. Your channel is about AI and automation and makes videos about automating your business and personal life respond to comments in a friendly and professional way. And I'm gonna delete this part, use emojis. Now I can click start responding. It will take you to the workflows page where you can see all of your active AI agents. I can cancel it at any point, or I can click on the info button where I can change any of my settings, change the text model, the agent prompt, and I can also see our past replies. So this said, absolutely, you can use a database to organize and access your favorite YouTube tutorials more efficiently. I'm gonna click on this link. It takes me to the video where the comment was on. I can scroll down and it also highlights that comment and this is my response. And if you just watch it live, you can see your YouTube bot going through all of your past comments, responding to it with a link to check it out. For those that like the back end stuff, if you're a developer or a coder, let me show you how I'm doing it. Our first step is we are getting a refresh token to authorization code. This allows us to make API calls on behalf of the YouTube channel. Then we're running an API call called get comments where we pass the YouTube's channel ID. We're getting the most recent 20 comments with that authorization code. Then we're starting the text generation workflow with a list of the comments, a list of those comment IDs, and each comment also has attached to it a video ID. And this is important because again, we're looking at the video's title and the video's description to understand the context of the comment better. And we're also continuing only if, and you see this filtered condition right here, if the list of comments and all of its replies doesn't contain your YouTube's channel ID. For non-coders, this can be pretty confusing. So to help you visualize it better, this is a document. And let's say there was four comments. Comment number two has a reply on it. Comment number one, three, and four don't have a reply. This reply ID also has a channel ID attached to it 
who made this reply. If this channel ID is your YouTube channel, it means either you manually responded to this comment or the AI agent already responded to this comment. So it would skip this comment completely. And because these three comments don't have a reply, we can infer that the AI agent didn't reply to it, nor you replied to it manually. If this condition is satisfied, we simply move on to the next step, which is text generation. Whichever text model you chose, it will respond to that comment with that text model. Previously, we did it a different way, and I think that was a lot worse. We actually used the comments date. So if the AI agent responded to a bunch of comments on Monday, and then when it checked for new comments, it showed that the comment was made on a Tuesday, we could conclude that the AI agent hadn't responded to the comment yet. But if you went in and replied manually, we still use the comments date. So sometimes the AI agent would double up. However, this way is a lot cleaner, a lot more efficient, and I believe a lot more foolproof. If you want to use the YouTube Responder AI agent for yourself, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If that last part of the video interested you, me showing all the backend code and logic, and you wanna take that and make AI agents for yourself to start a business or to sell to your customers, I've designed a full and complete online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.